hello, 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 and welcome to Lunch Break with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, hello. Canada. I do short Lunch Break with Shell video tutorials Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon Central Standard Time, as well as Facebook Lives or YouTube premieres on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Today uh, we are going to first stop talk about a new promotion in September. It's called the Perfect Partners Promotion. It runs from September 1st to 30th. And what Stampin' Up! has done uh, is they have created some dies to coordinate with some of the standalone stamp sets that are in the mini catalog. Uh, we're going to be using one of those die sets today. In the, in the mini, the Perched in a Tree stamp set was a standalone stamp set. And they have created the Aspen Tree dies. And as you can see, this is just a gorgeous background die. And there's a branch die, one for the bird, a couple of leaves. And I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's the splatter die. I haven't tried it yet. This is the first time I've used this. Anyhow, this, these dies that they've created, there are six of them that coordinate with the Apple Harvest, Fresh Cut Flowers, This Birthday Piggy, Tree Trimmings, Waterfall Canyon, and Yeti to the Party. These dies are only available from September 1st to 30th, and they're only available while supplies last. Now, if you already have the stamp set, you can purchase the coordinating dies. However, if you don't have the stamp set, you can buy the stamps and dies as a bundle and save 10%. All right, that's the business side of this. We are going to move on and talk about our project today. I am using the Perched in a Tree bundle. I've also brought in the Scallop Contour dies as well as the Ringed with Nature stamp set. I just want a small greeting. So I've, I've chosen Thinking of You and Just For You. I, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. And we're gonna be making a fun fold today. So I am going to find my paper trimmer and I am going to bring in a piece of the Ringed with Nature DSP. Okay, and I've cut mine to weird sizes. Um, you know me, I do things different. And I am going to, this piece is actually four and three quarters by 12. And we are going to put this in the paper trimmer and carefully because it's DSP we're going to score it at two and we're going to score it at four and we're going to flip it and we're going to score it at two and again at four. Easy peasy right? All right now we are going to fold it. Now you have a decision to make as to what you want to be front and center. For me, I think I want, nope, let's do it the other way. I want it to look like this. So this is going to be a gate fold. And by folding it, I can't find my score line, there it is. By folding it this way, the birds are going to show. Now, as you can see, I don't have this folded correctly because it is not good. 
go. It is not lining up perfectly, which means one of my score lines must be out just a titch. That's the one right there. All right, so there is our card base or part of it. For the inside, so we have a nice place to write our greeting. I have a piece of basic white. Whoops, let's take the cover off the blue that we're going to put on the inside so that we have a nice place to write our greeting. And I'm just centering that up on that inside panel. Okay, so far so good. Now I am going to bring in this four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of navy cardstock. And I am going to center this on this panel. And my measurements are way out, as you can tell, but I'm pretty much committed to laying this in this position right now. So, I'm going to bring in my mini paper trimmer, and we're going to give this a little haircut. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking that my borders would match, and obviously they do not. So, we just want a wee little border that matches all the way around. That looks much better. And let's do the same thing down here. Don't want to make a mistake. Not at this point in the game. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so we have that. Now we are going to work on a focal image and I have pre-stamped in Memento Black Ink. If you're wondering why you're seeing um, light and dark here, it's because I am in my gazebo at the trailer. <laughs> And it's early in the morning and the sun is actually shining through the screens and that's why you're seeing light and dark here and you're probably hearing birds chirping. It's a lovely, lovely morning. My goal here is to try to make my bird look similar. I'm not saying the same. I'm saying similar to the birds on the paper. So I'm going to start out Yes, that was an acorn falling, if you can believe it. Way too early for that. But yes, it was an acorn hitting the steel roof on the gazebo. So now I am just going to use my light so saffron. And put a little bit of this up in here as well. Now I'm starting light. I can always add more color. I just can't take it off. So I realize that that has light and dark tones. So I am going to go with the dark, so saffron, and add some shading. And actually, I think I'm just going to go the whole way again with this. I think the light is too light. Maybe okay for up in there. And then I'm going to bring in some daffodil, light daffodil. And get some highlight areas on here. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of difference. There's some 
subtle difference, but not a whole lot between those two shades. All right, now I want some light balmy blue going, I realize this bird is a different bird than what's in the picture. So there's no way that we can totally make these the same. But we can play at it a little bit. All right, there's some light. And let's go with some dark. And some of these other areas. Actually, I'm not going to go with that dark. I don't like it. I'm just going to blend that out. There we go. I am going to switch right over to a darker blue completely. And hopefully this is the right decision. And it's all in your interpretation, right? I put a little bit of this blue down this way. I'm trying to make this look a little bit chalky through here because feathers are not smooth, right? Now I'm going to take that light balmy blue again and blend those together. And all those white areas that I left here will become balmy blue. don't like that line that I have there. So let's see if I can just add some darker specks so this blends together a little more. I know, maybe I'm being too fussy. But that's okay. You're along for the ride. It may turn out like a hot mess and it may be beautiful. Who knows? Find the more you blend, the better. All right, now I need something for his or her feet. And beak. So I'm going to try dark mango. And now I'm going to use jade for the eye. And we're going to call that done. Okay, so I'm stuck to the table. There must be some adhesive. Yep, a little bit of adhesive there. Okay, so our bird is done. I have used the scallop contour dies to create a base for our bird. 
pulling in the, the navy and the white colors. So I am going to glue these two panels together. Like so. And then I'm going to use a dimensional or two on the back of my bird so that he's popped up a little bit. Maybe three. Let's remove those paper backings and we will trying to center him as best I can. Pop him in place, like so. All right. Actually, I'm going to lift him. I just, oh no, I don't need to do that. I'm not. I'm gonna put it just like that. All right, next off, I have some pieces for a belly band. I didn't have a piece. I had these two pieces of scrap and I didn't want to cut a full sheet of cardstock just for this. You know what I'm saying? So I am going to glue these two pieces together so they become one long one. And then what I'm going to do is wrap this band with the seam in the front around to the back and yes this is much too long now but that's okay and I'm going to slice that off and the trick for this is you don't want it to be too tight you want to be able to get it on and off your card so be very careful about it that you have lots of room to slide it. This is what we want, okay? All right, now I've got that where I want it. I'm gonna put some adhesive on here to close off the band. All right, I'll just line this up like so and that will close off our band all right now we get to put this right on like so Isn't that pretty now we want to be sure that we only get adhesive in this portion so let's just flip this over for a minute and center this up backwards, okay? And I'm gonna take a pencil and put two lines on the back here. This is where I'm gonna put the adhesive within those lines. And then I know I'm good, right? So I'm gonna just, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to slide this off my card. I do not want to glue my card. Let's pop that in place. Bang on. Look at that. Oh, tried to slide it a little bit and I pulled it right off. And you see that I got some glue right there, but we'll take care of that. Somewhere in here I have a blue eraser. I don't know whether that's picking up on camera, if you can see that or not. These blue erasers have saved me a million times. All right, now we will slide this back on our card. Beautiful. Now, the only thing we have left to do is our greeting. And like I said, I put a couple of greetings on here. 
thinking of you and just for you. So we are going to, I've got a couple of tags here. And we're going, these are from the Scallop Contours as well. We're going to use, um, I think we're going to use Memento Black Ink. And we're going to give this a whirl. See if we can use one of these greetings. Trying to center this. I'm sorry if my head's in the way. There's just for you. Let's try thinking of you. Beautiful. I think I like the just for you better. I have one more tag here. I'm going to do it one more time. So I have some extra readings ready. This one might be crooked. No, not too bad, actually. I like that the one, one the best of the bunch. All right, so let's get um, these little circles are not all punched out. Got a couple hanger oners there. All right, so there's our tag. I'm thinking we're gonna pop this on an angle. Like so, and then I have this little gold bow. What do you think? Or is that too much? Should I just take this greeting? How's this for an idea? Take this greeting and we can pop this inside and we will mat it on navy. Look, it's meant to be. Let's do that. Let's do that. Stamping on the fly. You know me. Never have my mind made up. I just go with it. Alright, now we need to trim out this greeting without trimming it off. Beautiful. And I'm just going to glue this to the inside of the card. Right in the center. There we go just for you and all those beautiful birds and then we will pop the belly band back on once again maybe if I can get everything working here and then maybe I will just put this little bowl right here I need a glue dot Just pop that right there, and then we'll get our ribbon scissors and trim these tails. This one's twisted. There we go. And then we'll see if we can tame those tails just a little bit. some of this junk and I'm going to grab another glue dot and I have to be careful to make sure it stays on this rectangular piece because that belly band has to come off right all right I don't like the way that this one is too much there we go. That looks better. 
All right. And to finish it off, I have some of these gilded gems. And I think, now yeah, just work with me here. Do you see these little holes? I think I'm going to put one of those on each of those holes. So there's three, six, or nine. Three, sorry, three, six, or nine. Three, five, seven, nine. I'm going to just go with the three, and there we have it, our perched, sorry what's it called, perched in a tree, blindfold. What do you think? I think it's cute. I love it. Love, love, love it, and I love the dies. So um, if you are interested in getting any of the dies, from that promotion, um, please um, give me a shout. Once again, it's called the Perfect Partners Promotion. It runs September 1st to 30th while supplies last. And the dyes involved are Apple Harvest, Fresh Cut Flowers, This Birthday Piggy, Tree Trimmings, Waterfall Canyon, and Yeti to the Party. And, um, if you choose to buy the bundle, you will save 10%. All right, I'm out for today. Have a fabulous, fabulous day, and I hope to see you here back soon. Bye-bye.